This is actually pretty fun. I think I got something. It's nice to run into people that aren't jerks. Like this is like some innocent kid that just wants to play Minecraft. It is definitely very, 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 very cool. Look at this. There's six pages of environments. Green. I'm excited. I'm waiting. Yeah, this room looks amazing. Yes. It's down here at least. Oh, I see it. That's cool. How, how do I put it up there? Am I recording? Am I recording? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go over the best theater apps for the Oculus Quest. And I have some that you're not going to find anywhere else. And I'll post a link in the video description to maybe one or two of them that you can't find anywhere else. The other ones I um, can't really, not at liberty to give out because they cost money or they're, they're in beta and I don't have the liberty to distribute but uh, yeah let's check out some of the best apps for the oculus quest let's check this out okay so we have a lot of different apps we can try and I'm gonna start off with what I'm gonna tell you is the best uh, just right off the bat no suspense it is skybox skybox just like with the oculus go is the best however there are some other ones that have other features that you will be able to do different things with that you want to stick around and, and see. But here we go. We are in Skybox. It just plays things from the network perfectly fine, no problem. And I'm going to keep my volume down so I don't get any kind of copyright strike here. All right, click on your, your movie over the network. I, I, I'd like to stream from my network, but you can save a movie to your Oculus Quest or you can, well, I think that's about it. Let's see. All right, so, okay, my phone. So this is a really nice theater experience. This is the best. Again, though, there are ones you're not gonna wanna miss coming up. It looks really nice and clear. There's other options you can do. You can change the scene. Uh, let's see, hold the button to drag the screen. Oh, this is cool, it's updated. So yeah, you can make the screen bigger or smaller. You're here on the moon. This is pretty cool, for sure. It, re it looks really nice. It really feels like you're on the moon. You can feel the oxygen being sucked out of your lungs. You feel like you're about to die. Well, maybe not really that, but it is nice. It is really nice. And Skybox does not have problems playing different audio formats. So it's And it's free. It's amazing. You can change the stereo modes to side by side or top and bottom. It also play VR 180 or VR 360, both of those either 2D or 3D. You can change all kinds of different formats for video playback. You just you just touch the middle ones here to move it around and use the joystick to make it bigger or smaller. There we go. It's really nice. And one thing I like the most about this, which was not on my last video I did, is you can curve the display. Ooh, I love that. I love that so much that you can curve the display. If you guys haven't tried this app, you need to stop this video right now and go and install it and just have fun with it. It is such a great player. Again, I've muted it so that I don't get any kind of copyright strike. But it can do all kinds of things. You can change the tilt on it. Of course, you can just do that by grabbing it as well. Uh, you can change the scale manually which again, you can do that by using the joystick. Rotate, oh yeah, that's cool. You can rotate it, that's very cool. 3D adjust, you can adjust the 3D offsets, like if you, let's see, image adjust, you can adjust the brightness, that's really cool. Just the saturation, look at that, black and white, oversaturated. The contrast, look at that. What else, playback speed, get playback slower. Oh, whoops, it crashed. Well, Maybe don't do that. Let's fire it back up here. Let's try a different movie this time. Here we go. It's Wonder Woman. And let's do curved. Curved is very cool. Look at that. It's nice. Nice and curved. And again, you can change the aspect ratio right here. And this player also supports full side-by-side -side 3D. Okay, so here's the little prints. I also have a video of how to rip your Blu-rays full side by side. So now see it's full side by side. So you just go here to stereo mode, say side by side, 
the aspect ratio is wrong. So then you just go to the aspect ratio under advanced, 16 by 9, and then bam. And yeah, it's in 3D. See, it supports, it supports subtitles, as you can see. But I want to turn off subtitles. Good. Over here is where I turn them off. Okay. And I have this movie, I have it set to curved screen, and it's in 3D. It looks so good. It just looks amazing. I would highly recommend you guys rip your 3D Blu-rays to full side-by-side -side and watch them with this app. It is just so satisfying. It's just such, again, this is such an awesome app. There's a lot of cool more that we're going to cover that are very cool, but this is just so fun. You can also swap left and right if it's wrong. Now it looks wrong. Now down here there's a full SBS matching, but it doesn't work for me. But yeah, it like crops it. It doesn't, I think it must be buggy, but it's not even necessary because you can just manually change the aspect ratio. And again, here's contrast. You change the contrast. Change the saturation. On the fly. So nice. Brightness. 3D offset is great. Again, if, if and as I'm adjusting it, I'm seeing it in real time, how it looks. So if you ever have like a 3D file where it's messed up, like maybe it's too, the 3D is overpowering, you can adjust it this way. Or, hey, you just want to watch it in 2D. Just hit monoscopic, and now it's just in 2D. You can also play files off of the headset itself. Here's a file on the headset, for example. Okay, so that is, this is Skybox. This is going to be the number one recommendation, but there's some other cool stuff that we have coming up. All right, another one that you can, another theater experience you can have is actually with virtual desktop. Now, a lot of, I've seen some people criticize other people for liking this because it goes through multiple layers of compression, but it looks perfectly fine, and I don't think it's fair to criticize somebody who already has this and enjoys it because it offers some really cool environments. All right, I'm going to turn down my volume, and uh, let's check it out. Fire up a movie here. Playing a movie off my computer. So it is it's for Robin. And let's see, here's one of the environments. Uh, just add a computer, right? And you can change it to, let's see, different environments. That, uh, let's see, home theater. This is a cool environment for sure. And it looks perfect. I don't know why people try to criticize people for enjoying this. It works really well. Of course, this is not a free app. Let's see, the other home cinema. This is definitely pretty cool. Like this look. This is a fun cinema theater experience. Let's see, which else do we have? Auditorium. So this is the auditorium environment, and it is very cool. It is very cool. I can see why people would really enjoy using this to watch movies. It's very reasonable, and it works great. In fact, that's one of the points of the creation of this, is that so you could play back videos, and it would look perfectly fine. This is an amazing app for that. Works perfectly. Let's see another, let's see this one, a dark cinema. Yep, this is a very cool environment as well. Works very well. It looks very, very nice. And then of course you have the space ones and the gray void and the black void. You can just be sitting out in having a black screen and it's curved, it's nice. It's only curved horizontally, not vertically, but it's still, it's really nice. Gives you a very immersive effect. And of course, you can... This actually also supports 3D. Uh, this app supports 3D. You can change things to half SBS or full SBS or over under, or even anaglyph. So this is a very, very powerful app. You can even use it, again, to play back 3D content if you want. And it's definitely enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. It's not free, but it is high quality. There's nothing wrong with using this. Again, I've seen people express how much they like to use this for watching movies and other people criticize them, which I think is unfair because you know, it looks great. And uh, I can see why somebody would want to use it for the environments, for sure. And you're using your computer for playback. So anything you can play on your computer, you'll be able to watch using Virtual Desktop. Now, this next app is Seymour Virtual Cinema. Pro. Now, unfortunately, this is not actually available yet for the Quest, but um, 
I have it running on the Quest and I just want to show you what it looks like. Hopefully it will come to the Quest. Hopefully Oculus will allow it to come to the Quest. Hopefully it won't be rejected or hopefully it will be able to run in Go emulation. Anyhow, you can check this out. You can watch YouTube videos on it. It's really cool. You can watch YouTube videos on it. There we go. YouTube video. I think we can change seating, right? Okay. Here we go. Change seating. Okay, I'm back. Oh, one of the cool things is sitting off to the side. It definitely gives you the feeling like you're really in a, a theater, you know, because you don't always sit perfectly in the center. I mean, I try to, but that doesn't always happen. So it definitely gives you that sense like you're really in a theater. So you, it supports all different kinds of 3D formats. You can change the aspect ratio. You can change the lighting. See that? Let's see. Screen settings as well. Brightness, contrast, saturation. Yeah, check it out. Even the YouTube videos you can change. Change the movie type, 360, which is really not a 360 movie. So it looks weird. You can change the environment. Like, look, I'm in a home environment. See, this is kind of cool. I'm on some kind of beanbag chair. Uh, you can change to a pool. This is interesting for sure. Yeah, here, let me start this again. You can... Scary. Ooh, scary. Look, I'm just watching it on TV and there's like this dead person that starts twitching. It twitches every so often. So, And we have full six degrees of freedom in this app. Let's see what else. Oh, and then just... The void and I guess it follows you around. I don't like that. It makes me sick. I'm just going to go back to cinema because I hate this thing following me around. You can change the encoding type, change the audio track Click on the folder. You can go, you can play files off your network, which is really, really, really cool. And let's see, I'm trying to, well, play, it should do full side by side, I think. Full side by side, 3D. Yep. Here we go. This is a really large file. Man, that looks so amazing. Yeah, this is a quality app. I hope it comes to the Quest officially. Unfortunately, it's a paid app, so I cannot link it in the video description. Sorry about that, guys. Not trying to tease you, but I definitely want to give you a glimpse of possibilities and also encourage the developers to and Oculus to allow these guys to release things for the Quest that maybe have gotten rejected. Because this is absolutely high quality. This is great. Go back to the folder. You can play files off your device as well. You can have your channel. All right, and this is Seymour Cinema Pro. And it's amazing, and I hope it comes with the Quest because I think everybody will love it. Now, another app that is really cool is the Amazon, Amazon Prime, Amazon Video On Demand. Now you don't actually have to have Amazon Prime for it because you can purchase movies that you own on Amazon whether you're a Prime member or not. You can also sync movies you bought other places. You can sync movies with your Amazon account through Movies Anywhere and watch them and it's actually pretty decent. Let's see if this will let me record. So launch Prime Video. No, it won't. I'm going to have to use screen copy. Okay. All right, so fire up Prime Video. It's definitely a decent app for sure and I'm already all signed in so I just go to movies again you don't have to really be a prime member to use this my stuff okay this is where it shows what I've actually what I actually own oh purchases and rentals Hobbit oh, yeah, I gotta put my code in oh I guess what you can't play it if it's restricted there's no way of putting in your code what they need to update that that's not good <clears throat> All right, Incredibles, That's that doesn't have need for a code. All right, so here's here it is. You're in like this theater. It's pretty cool for sure. You can change the size of the screen. And if you want, if you move the screen around, then you're just like in like the void, which is fine. You could like cast it up if you wanted to lay back and watch it on your bed. Or you can just go here and and reset it. So it's definitely a good app. It's definitely a nice theater app for sure. You just can't save files for offline play. At least not yet. It'd be cool if they made that an option. 
but they only have that one environment you don't you can't select from a bunch of different environments but if you have prime or you own a bunch of movies and you've synced them with your amazon account this is a great way to to watch them all right next one all right now here is one, another one uh this is cinevr now this is actually for the oculus go but you can just sideload it straight onto the quest and it actually works and it's really cool but sadly network play does not work and they just updated it but network play still is not working. However, there are some other things you can do with it. See, it shows the Go controller. And if you have an account, you can actually sign in. And if you hook up um, a headphones to this, you can actually talk to other people. See, there's three other, there's live people in here. Let's see who's, there's player eight. Um, so it connects, it works fine. So let's see what we, what we have. You can change your seating, which is pretty cool actually. It's really neat that you can do that. You can watch 3D trailers, which is really fun to do. Let's see, we're firing up a 3D trailer right now. And here we go, it looks, it looks nice. It doesn't look perfect. It's not like super high bit rate, but it's definitely good enough. Can we fast forward? Let's see, I'm trying to fast forward. And, yep. So it's definitely fun to watch some 3D trailers. It looks really good. And it's cool if you put headphones on, you can talk to other people in here. Although sometimes it's annoying. Yeah, so right now I can see this in 3D. All right, what else can we do? You can watch some regular trailers in HD. You can actually, let's see, it's loading the trailers. Yeah, watch the trailer now. For the Terminator movie. I don't know why it's in French, but okay, so trailer. Okay, what else can we do? We can do File Explorer. Now, this is where it also, you can see files on your network, but it doesn't play them back. Even on the Oculus Go, it does not play them back. At least not for me. I could not get it to work. When I click on one of the files, it just goes blank. It just goes black. Same thing happens on the Oculus Go. I've contacted them on Reddit. They're like, oh, it's a problem with the player. And then they released an update. Same thing. But if you save a file to your quest, it will play back the local file no problem. And this isn't the name of the file that I clicked on. So it has, I don't know what the issue is. But you can play back files from your device. For example, here's a file on my device. And it looks great. No problem. So I think that this honestly would be probably, probably the second best player if network playback worked. We also have 3D modes. It's just a shame that network playback does not work because it makes it kind of useless. I mean, it's fun to go in and it's novel to play some 3D videos and maybe, I don't know, are you gonna buy some through their channel, through their online interface that you can't share anywhere else? I don't think that's practical. Some 3D videos, there's 360 videos you can watch. And here we go. It's a, Video. So these are free. Apparently this is actually not 3D, it's just 360. Go back. So you can also buy different environments and it's linked to your account with CineVR. So if they, if they could get network playback working, this would be one of my top apps, one of my top movie playback apps. But again, you can put movies on your device if you have enough room and play them on, play them from on the device using this app as well. Okay, so that is CineVR. All right, here's an interesting one, Moon Player. Now, I don't really recommend this one, but this one can do something interesting. It's like super buggy. You can play local files. I don't know if all of this works. I really don't like this app. It seems super buggy. This always just, nothing shows up over here but it can do something interesting. Check this out. If you take uh, an OTG cable, USB-C, with a thumb drive that has movies on it, you can actually play it in Moon Player. How do you do it? Watch this. When it comes up, let's see, it tells you not supported, just click cancel, close that out. So I get this TV. Now I'm not gonna recommend this, because it uses up so much battery. Oh my gosh. Okay, this won't let me, this won't let me show you.
because it's Oculus TV, so I'm going to have to use screen copy. All right, let's do that. Let me hook it up with screen copy. Okay, so you put this in here. Tells you that it's not supported. Click cancel. Don't click continue in it because it'll try to format it. Then just hit the Oculus Home button and then quit the system user interface. Go to Oculus TV. Where am I going to go? I don't think it works with File Explorer. Does it work with this one? It You have to open it with a certain File Explorer. I don't care about this stuff. I think Total Commander works. Let's try it. Okay, no it doesn't. Well, I know something that I have on here that definitely works. You can sideload JS USB OTG, but you have to pay for it, so that's on you. Click on OK. All right, so this is the USB drive. These are the files that are on the drive. Oh, let's see, Clash of the Titans. Oh, let me turn this thing down. I'm going to say Direct Open, and then I can select Moon VR Player. And here it is playing the file, and I just have to go down here, change it to side by side, and it is in 3D. Uh, and it works. I mean, it works fine. The problem, one of the problems with it is it does not support full side-by-side. -side. So if you have full side-by-side -side images, it doesn't work. You, you tell it to go 3D and it just doesn't. It doesn't change. Um, and again, connecting any thumb drive to this drains the battery of the Quest something fierce. So, I mean, if you really want to do it, you can. And you can use this to make it get bigger or smaller. It's kind of laggy right now, probably because I'm using screen copy to record. It's probably the problem. But I personally am not going to use this as a method to watch any movies at all. I won't do it. Yeah, I don't really like Moon Player. Uh, like, let's see, this is Life of Pi. Check it out. It is full side by side. It will not. It will not go 3D in Moon Player. My bad. It's 3D. Wow. What the heck? How did that happen? Wow, that's really cool. That looks absolutely perfect. It's a 23 gigabyte file. I wanted these to be absolutely perfect. Well, um, I don't know what changed. Maybe it was an update that Oculus pushed out, but I don't know. It's working. So this changes my mind. Maybe you would want to use this to watch some movies on a thumb drive. I am impressed. Wow, I'm really impressed. All right, now another one that you can use, you can sideload from the Oculus Go or just download the Oculus Go version. It does cost money, it's not free. It's Pegasus. Now, there's a lot of people that swear by this app. Uh, I would not, however. Why don't I? Because it's not free and it can't play like DTS and I think it's AC3 files. You have to add, I think, I don't know, maybe it's a licensing issue, but you have to add, I think, some DLLs or some kind of files in a certain folder to enable it, which I'm not going to go through because you shouldn't have to do that. Skybox is free and it has no problem playing things back. But this does have some cool options, so let's check it out. You can't scroll by clicking on the folders and dragging. It has to be this and it's not very friendly. It's like too fast. It's like super fast. Super touchy. All right, so I'm playing back a 3D file, and I just go to, let me see, View Options, and then go to 3D, and then and go select Side by Side, and now I can see it in 3D. Don't, don't get me wrong, this is a good app, but I have a lot of files that it won't play the audio on, and why should I pay money for an app that can't do that? when I can get an app that can do it for free. And personally, I think that Skybox visually looks better during playback as well. Let's see, it doesn't seem to be able to handle 3D subtitles. There we go, now they're, they're here. But this also cannot do a curved screen. Also, the adjustments on here are not as easy. Like, see, they don't have sliders, they have, you have to, you can't do it while it's playing. Skybox, you can do it while it's playing, while it's live. Same thing for, uh, I think it was Seymour. But this one you can't, and it's, you have to click on it. And player settings, all these different options. IPD, this didn't seem to do anything for me. Besides the Quest has an IPD adjuster, so you don't really need to worry about that. 
You can change the playback speed. You can do a loop if you want. You can change between just the theater or the void. That's, that's about it. There's not any other environments. And then you can change your seating in the theater from center back, center middle, center front. So again, it's not my top recommendation. I know a lot of people really like it. And I think it was really innovative when it came out. But Skybox definitely smokes this. The only thing this has that's, that Skybox or any other app I have seen doesn't have is this will actually let you view 3D JPEG files. Like if I go to the device, I actually saved one on here just to show you. Oculus, screenshots, and I saved it right here. I downloaded it. I found it on Google. So this, I can see this in 3D and it supports all these, these four different formats, side by side, over under, full side by side, and full over under. And I don't know of any other app that does that. So if you have a bunch of JPEGs that you really want to watch, you want to look at, this would be one of the ways to do it. Although I do think that Oculus Gallery can do it. I can check on that. But other than that, I, I, I wouldn't recommend this app. It's not horrible. It's just that there's better alternatives that are, that are free. All right, now here's another one that I will post a link to in the video description. Um, it's super buggy. And it's originally just for the Oculus Go, but I will post a link to it. You can try it out, but you're probably not going to like it. Uh, it is Plex VR. Now, even on the Oculus Go, it's super buggy, and it hasn't been updated in forever. Sometimes it just randomly crashes or the screen turns black. But when it works, you can watch things with friends. You can sign in, and you can see friends that are on here with you. And you can watch things together. You can talk. Let's see. Uh, the controls are weird. It would be great if they updated it. Nope. Yeah. Click. Uh, what did I push down? Don't share. It can play 3D movies. It can play regular 2D movies. Click on here. Go 3D format. If you check the reviews on this, everybody is just, most people are just mad about it because it's so super buggy. It's usually a way to make this bigger and smaller. Okay, there we go. It's small. And you see the aspect ratio is wrong and there's not really a way to correct the aspect ratio right now. Like, this app is almost there. All they have to do is fix the bugginess. I don't like this scene. Just throw stuff at the movie theater screen. Just throw the, throw the popcorn at the... So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it could almost be awesome because there's not a lot of ways to watch things with other people on the Oculus Go or the Oculus Quest. And this is one way that almost works, kind of works, but it's super buggy and sometimes it just, screen just goes black for seemingly no reason. You can't adjust the aspect ratio. So I would not recommend this app, but if you want to try it out and just see how it looks, you have to have Plex. Of course, if you know anything about Plex, you have to have Plex running on your computer or on your router with a library or connect to somebody who's shared their library with you in order to watch. And of course you can I think you can just like grab the ones you want to watch. You can like put them down here. Yeah, see, now the screen is just went black. So it's super buggy. Definitely do not recommend this one, but I'll put a link in the video description if you want to try it out. All right, so another one that uh, is okay, you probably know about it, but I'll go over it a bit on this video, is YouTube VR. Hopefully this will let me record it. Fire up YouTube VR. It's got some problems. And in VR, you're thinking, okay, well, you can watch things in 3D. But they really failed when it comes to this. Because if you, if you look up, like, old 3D side-by-side -side videos, like, let's say this one, it can't, you can't manually switch it to 3D. You can't tell it, hey, this is half side-by-side. -side. It relies on metadata in the video file. And if it's not there, they don't allow you to change it. So, yeah like like Seymour Cinema, you can watch YouTube and you can tell it, hey, 3D, go to 3D, and you can change it to 3D manually. But the, the actual native YouTube VR app does not have the most basic functionality that you would expect it to have. So for 2D, it's fine. 
I mean, you can definitely find some 3D stuff that has the metadata in it, but it seems like a no-brainer, and they didn't do it. So, I don't really feel like this app is anything special. I feel like they failed big time in that regard. They used to have this weird thing where you could like watch with people with random strangers, which did not make any sense. Apparently they got rid of it, it seems like. But... Anyhow, that's all I'm going to say about the YouTube app. I'm I'm not super impressed with it. All they need to do is add the ability to manually set 3D, and it's been out for like a year. They still haven't done that. All right, guys, last but certainly not least is Big Screen Beta, and it's actually a great app. Um, it's a little bit complicated if you want to watch your own media because you have to set up the server, like your computer, and I'm not going to cover that in this video. That deserves its own video. But if you just want to get into a movie theater experience, like I, I wouldn't recommend that app if you're like, I just want to watch my own media because you can't just browse your network for it. That's not how it works. It would be cool if you could because they do have cool environments. That'd be a nice feature for them to come out with. But you can jump in and they added like all these different channels and you can interact with people. So let's check it out. Big screen, beta. Definitely going to crank up the volume for this. All right, and you can change the resolution and stuff, which is really cool. I'm going to actually lower the resolution for this um, graphics quality just for the like recording. Oh, that, that helped a lot, turn off anti-aliasing. It's normally fine, but I'm recording, so I'm going to, yeah, we'll do this. It's easier. So let's see. It's really cool. You can move all around, 3D paint. You can grab stuff, and oh, this is for erasing, so we can... Yeah, it's definitely a super fun app. It's really fun. It's kind of silly, but it's fun too. I mean, I haven't honestly done a bunch of, I haven't done a bunch of 3D painting in this app. I actually haven't been in this app for a while. So right now I'm just gonna show you, here, how do I get rid of this 3D painting stuff? Oh yeah, and you have to make your own avatar. How do I get rid of this stuff? Can I get? Oh, this is, Weird, how do I? Okay, so I guess don't do not do this. You can like move, so you go like that. Now I'm over here, I don't know. That's my, looks like a heart or something. It's definitely a cool environment, but there's multiple environments. And let's see, you push down on the joystick. Go okay, social, you hit social and you can see, let's see, mute mics or kick, mute mics or kick. It's, you're muted by default. I mean, the way it's set up, you have to press a button to talk. So, yeah, I mean, you can just hang out and watch a movie. I'll turn this down, I guess, a bit so I don't get a copyright strike. Yeah, you just, um, yeah, oh, yeah, this is like the new uh, movie theater environment. Uh, it's very cool, very cool indeed. Um, so, yeah, you can, you can sit wherever you want. I want to sit over there, okay? Uh, and you, you're watching what other people have created. Go back to social, and you can see Black Hawk down, join. Oh, the room is full. Alita Battle Angel, that room is full. It might be international. Oh, they're actually playing some cool movies. Interstellar, only only four people in that room? Come on. Moss? What is this? Okay, I don't know what's happening here. I don't see anything. So I'm going to go somewhere else. Oh, you know what you can also do? You can do like 3D trailers. This is cool. They have like different channels on here. Yeah, you're in a movie theater. This is really a cool app. Oops. Oh yeah, look at it, 3D. Well, you can't see it, but, because this video is in 2D, but I can see it in 3D. Oops, I should turn this down, dang it. Um, yeah, so I can see it, it's in 3D, it's very cool. Um, let's see, what else? There's all, it shows you how many people are in there, different, uh, I'm not sure what they're called, they're rooms, but they're almost like channels. Mystery Science Theater 3000, that's a great show. It used to be 2,000, but I guess they changed it to 3,000? Or has it always been 3,000? All right, this doesn't look like Mystery Science Theater. Social, random, NASA? All right, I guess this is just a live stream from NASA. It's interesting. Go to another channel. 007? What do we have for 007? What is this? Okay. Not sure what this is. I don't see, are there any other people here? It says there's four people in here? Where? 
I don't see anyone else. Let's go. This room is empty. Yeah. So anyhow. All right. So I think. Let's see. But yeah. Again, you can move around. See wherever you want to sit. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to like go into a theater for free and watch random movies for free. This is a good app to fire up. Super fun. Interstellar. This is a good one. It's a good movie. There's the nothing. How's it going? You can't talk? He's afraid to talk, apparently. There's nobody else in here. Okay. Go to your own room. Here's my own room. Very interesting. Check out all the different environments, too. You can go to so many different environments. You can make your room so many different environments. And other people, when they make their rooms, they can make them different environments. I mean, it is it is definitely very, 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 very cool. Look at this. There's six pages of environments. I'm not going to go through these all, but I would recommend you guys check it out. Like, what's this one? I'll go through a few. Okay, so this is just like... Mm, it's like a 360 thing. Alright, so... South Balcony. Let's try this. Yeah, this is really cool. Man, it looks so good. It looks amazing. In fact, this is what I was in with that guy who was trying to do Minecraft. But this is the like the daytime version and I guess can't go anywhere else except right here this is cool if you're able to if you have a friend you make your own like maybe if you have like long distance dating or something and you're and you guys want to watch like a movie together you set it up on your computer and you both connect and then I'll show you something else cool bedroom you can lay down and watch it in bed in virtual bed but it's kind of weird here let's see because it's like you're in the bed. It's like, what? Um, but, yeah, anyhow, then to move. It's really di difficult on the Oculus Go because you can't move your hand up. So it's, it's weird to get out of that position. Hey, get over there. I'm trying to get over there. I can't get over there. They don't let you. Anyhow, this is definitely a fun app. Definitely recommend checking it out. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Some of these apps you can install directly onto your Quest from the market. Some you have to sideload and some just aren't publicly available yet. I will however leave download links in the video description to ones that you can sideload like Plex VR, CineVR, and MoonPlayer. If you don't know how to sideload, I will also leave a link to a video tutorial I have on that. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the video description and I will try to answer it as soon as I can. Also, please let me know if you think there are any other theater apps that I should have included. This definitely wasn't an exhaustive list, but it was the ones that I thought were the best. Again, I am impressed with the ability of MoonPlayer to actually be able to play video files, especially in 3D from a USB drive, but because it seriously and quickly drains the battery of the Quest, I highly advise against it. Don't, don't do it. I mean, you can try it out, but... Yeah, it's not practical. I'd be surprised if the battery lasted long enough to even watch one movie. Go ahead and try big screen beta. It's extremely fun. And sometimes when you jump in, you can find people playing some cool movies that, you know, you might want to just watch. If, however, you have a movie share either in like a network share, uh, Samba, or DLNA through a DLNA server, I would highly recommend you just go for Skybox. And that's my number one recommendation. It's free and it plays pretty much everything. It doesn't have a problem with any video or audio I've ever thrown at it. Seymour Studio is my second favorite. Um, one of the reasons is because it allows you to manually select what 3D format you want for your YouTube videos, which is something that the native YouTube app can't even do. That's kind of weird. So it's a great app. Uh, Seymour is definitely my second favorite. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be putting a link to it in the video description because it is a paid app. Sorry about that. But hopefully it'll come to the Quest. I hope it does. It is definitely worthy of coming to the Quest. CineVR, it's free. Again, video description, it'll have a link. Um, I've talked to somebody who's like, oh yeah, network playback works fine for me. I'm like, I don't know how. It doesn't work for me at all. And there's other people posting about it on Reddit that it doesn't work. Uh, once they get that fixed, I think it would be a great app for all around content. But currently right now, that doesn't work. But again, I will leave a link in the video description so you can sideload that app and you can do things like play some 3D video trailers and things like that. It's, it's a fun app. 
I just hope they get that fixed soon. Now, Amazon Prime, I don't like the fact that they call it Amazon Prime because you don't have to be a Prime member to use it. Originally, it was Amazon VOD, which stood for Video On Demand. And you can sync up, like if you have movies on iTunes, or you have movies on Vudu, you can use a Movies Anywhere account to connect all these retailers and almost all of the movies will be available. They share the movies on the other platforms. So if you have, let's see, if you have accounts, if you have movies on, on Google Play Movies or iTunes, Microsoft Movies and TVs, Prime Video, where you, you know, you just, or actually like just Amazon, if you bought movies on Amazon, Fandango, Vudu, Verizon, Fios, and Xfinity, uh, you just sync it all up with Movies Anywhere, and you can watch them in the Amazon Prime app. Again, it should just be called Amazon Video On Demand because you don't need a Prime account to use it. But anyways, it is great. I just hope it would be nice if they could have like an offline viewing experience because like the Android version, you can just say, I want to save this movie to my device for offline viewing. So if they added a feature like that, that would be very cool. Anyhow, all right, guys, thanks for watching my video, and I will talk to you later. Minecraft, let's see what's going on with this. Yeah, if you're bored and you want to hang out with people and see just some random stuff, this is, hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Where are you? I'm outside for some reason. Give me a minute, and then my game will be annual. How's it going? I've been here for three days, so I can't get over to my headset. Oh, why did it take so long? I don't know. All I wanted to do was stream some Java Minecraft. You can't hear me right now, can you? Yeah, you have to press this. And now I'm waiting for big screen to download. It's at 57%. And then you're oh. going to stream some Minecraft, huh? Yep. See, this is cool. Sometimes Minecraft, you meet... I mean, Minecraft's been done. I'm going to let, I'm gonna let the, the like person that's been in my room for the longest you have to choose the name of the world and whatever seat I use. Or I don't use a seat at all. Except 83%. This is cool. You can meet some cool people online and some people that are not so cool. So that's just kind of the nature of how it works. You can walk all around. Right now I'm trying to figure out a way to keep my mic still going, but I don't have to hold down the button the whole time. Yeah, what what are you using? Quest. Same here. I'm using a Quest as well. It's so annoying I have to hold it down the whole time. Yeah, I hear ya. This is actually pretty fun. I think I got something. It's nice to run into people that aren't jerks. Like, this is like some innocent kid that just wants to play Minecraft. He sounds like he's probably like 14. But sometimes you run into people that are just vulgar and they love just being jerks. Man, they really made this app awesome. Oh, too bad I can't go up the stairs. Are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just yeah. checking out the the area. Okay. Oh, 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 I can start it now. I can start it. And move your hands like this, like you can see how it works. It works with your hand. Push this down like that. That's cool. Or like this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can change your avatar. Oh yeah, this is what I look like. Oh yeah, that's me. That is me right there. What about the settings as well? I'm so close to give you guys that good Minecraft gameplay. What happened? Kicked me way out for some reason. Hello. How's it going? I got kicked way out for some reason. Hey, what's going on, rejected mammal? Hello. We're just waiting for. Oh, it's opening. It's opening. I feel. I feel like I accomplished something. I can't wait to I see it. I don't know what I accomplished though. I'm excited to see like the accomplishment of you. It's been almost two hours and ten minutes, almost. Dang, and this is the moment we've been waiting for. Oh, come on. Not How's it going, Rejected Mammal? I like your uh, I like your blue hair. How did how did you do that? I don't think they know how to use a mic or they do not want to. Yeah, they yeah, I hear you. You get a bunch of newbies too that don't know how to use stuff. I mean, when, when you could see on um, my screen on the big screen. I'm excited. I'm waiting. Yeah, this room looks amazing. Yes. It's down here at least. Oh, I see it. That's cool. How do I put it up there? I don't remember, but if you keep poking around the settings, you should be able to find it. Ah. Oh, it's up there, but it's set to 3D. It looks weird. Well, how do I... Ah. Did I fix it? I can't tell. No, it looks uh, It looks like it's trying to be 3D. It's like... 
There, there we go. Face. Perfect. Perfect. I'm excited. This is cool, actually. No. My mom has been leaning up to do this on a TV screen in a video game. I'm super excited to see this. I put my. I'm gonna. I need to put my hands together for this. Spent two hours doing absolutely nothing. Good job. Good job. Okay. What should I name it? You asking somebody in your room? Oh, in here? Oh, in this room? Specifically, you. You've been here oh, longest. Yeah. Let's name it. Um. What should we name it? You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Just make it interesting. What? Okay, name it Happy World. But it's hardcore. Okay. I know, it'll be a tragic irony. How much one about I'm gonna die in like three seconds? I don't know, PewDiePie did a video where he lived for 12 hours in hardcore mode. Okay, I don't even care. I'm actually happy to have that in. How do I, how do I friend this guy? Okay, I think you so can I'm add friends. I'm couple seconds trying to find a way to be able to leave my person. Okay, I don't know how to add friends. How do I do it? I'm trying to find something that's heavy enough to hold this down, but really nothing small enough to hold the button down. I'm trying to figure out how to send you a friend request, but I'm failing. I can't you send me, like, um, an Oculus one? Well, your name in here isn't necessarily the same as your Oculus one. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure they are the same, but then again, I don't know. Let's see. Binders, are you heavy and small enough in a way that you can hold down a button? I would just, you know, just go for it. Just try to, uh, maybe you could use a rubber band. I don't know. That's a good question. Rejected mammal, do you, uh, do you know how to use the mic? You have to press, you have to hold down the B. Or you just don't want to use the mic? Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to have to wing it. Is Minecraft still loading in? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, I mean, it's better than looking at a screen with a loading bar on it. Can you guys see that screen right there, too? Yeah, I can see the screen floating above your head. I'm going to keep that there. We can watch YouTube while we wait. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Oh, oh nope, I have it starting to say 0%. That's great. Does it not work? No, it doesn't work. Oh, I'm trying to go down the big screen. Is that one? No, I think you can stream games. I've seen people do it. I know, but now it's not working. Does it not like me? I don't know. It is. It is called Big Screen Beta, so, I mean, they have bugs. You can have to disconnect and reconnect it. Yeah, it always seems a little bit troublesome when I try it. Although, it's been a while since I've tried it. This is my first time. That's why it took me two hours to get it, everything installed. Yep, sounds about right. Try number two. This time, we're just going to have to spend our whole time talking. It's fine with me. I'm waiting for some Minecraft. My internet, well, the reason that stopped working, all of a sudden stopped working. You know, it's only my VR headset and the, my laptop that I'm using is the only two that is connected to the internet because everybody else in my house is sleeping. Ah, wow. So, yeah, I don't know why it's running so slow. There's a draft in here. I want to close those curtains. Minecraft's made, like, maybe a little progress. Oh, this is cool. Just can, like, hang out, look outside. Even though this isn't at like the fullest quality, it still looks really, really good. So good. I think they're using heavy chromatic, uh, not chromatic, like uh, fixed foveated rendering. I think they have got that heavily going well, on with this. Only two in here now. Yeah, we're just hanging out. I'm just exploring this place. The cool big screen, because this hates me. So bad for this kid. He or seems to be working on it. Hates me. Probably both. So bad for you. You've been working on it for so long, and now it's just, what, it, like cut out or something? I don't know. At least I don't, it's really just the installs that take a while. Everything loading may take a while because, I mean, I don't have the best laptop ever. I mean, it's so-so, mm, it's at 27%. Minecraft's almost, is at percent. What now? Can I get a woo Minecraft's almost at 50% loading. Can we get a woo-woo? Well, that's taking a while, huh? How old's your laptop? I'm, it's my mom's laptop, and I don't think it's supposed to be running the Oculus app, because it has to have that to run the game. Big screen and Minecraft at the same time. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be able to do it. I mean, it was doing so-so. Well, now you need me to log in. Come on, I didn't have to log in earlier. Yeah, he's having problems with this. I'm going to go check out some other rooms. I'll, I'll check back with you, maybe. We'll see what's going on. Okay.